everybody, and welcome to the Welcome Home Wednesday. I feel welcome already. Don't you? I mean, is is it good to be back? It's it is good. Although I mean, I've, I know I know our first official day back was like yesterday, but yeah. Well, this is our first stream since we've yeah. been back, so you know, it's it's our first time seeing these wonderful people. Hi, everybody. Yeah. How have you all been? We hope uh, you had a great holiday break. Uh, happy New Year, Happy Holidays, and the like. Yeah, well, I know somebody had a happy holiday because we've already got a bit drop over here. Oh, hot damn. Yeah, Siren Ruler says, bits to celebrate my engagement to the love of my life on Monday. Well, happy. Yeah. God, that's awesome. Congratulations. Yes, dude. I uh, don't really have a... Let's go with this one. Oh, my God! Yeah! <laughs> you did it! Congratulations. That's incredible. That's... Uh, and thank you to everybody who's been resubbing and subbing... We appreciate your company here, and uh, we're, we're excited to get back into the flow of things. Our first, like, I guess, regular stream back will be tomorrow when we go when we jump into Metal Gear Solid 3. Yeah, yeah. We thought about doing doing the Wednesday hem thing, but that's such a, a high-octane, high-impact thing. We figured, well, why not ease into yeah, and, it? And our champion's out of town right now. Yeah. Like, he so doesn't get in until probably about an hour into this stream. Yeah, yeah, and that's when his plane touches down. So, yeah. So it would be it would be a, a farce to to go on non without him. Nonsensical. Yes. Zero sense. So so what do we have here today instead? Well, today instead, uh I I brought in something that I I've brought in a few times before. Uh but there's a new mode and it's really fun. Show me the new mode. Let me I let me will. kick us over here. All right, let's click let's click over cuz I, I brought in Hearthstone. Go figure. I really enjoy <laughs> Hearthstone. I, I I stream it a lot on my own time. Uh Oh, I don't know. Playing something that we enjoy, that doesn't it's, sound it's like not work right. though. It's not right. <laughs> but uh in their latest expansion, Cobalts and Catacombs, which comes with a whole bunch of fun cards, they unleashed probably the best thing in Hearthstone so far. Which is dungeon? Ah, go back because I'm good for me, not you. No, they're for me. Uh, <laughs> basically, what dungeon run mode is uh, is you choose a class out of the nine classes available, and you go through a bunch of various bosses, and you uh, build your deck along the way. It's it's a card. It's a deck building game. I see people Cobalt saying, they're, you're playing a kobold game and didn't invite Zito? Oh, we invited him, but weird, he likes to eat dinner before doing his D&D yeah. his &D uh, thing tonight, so. <laughs> uh, I have no real preference on playing any of these. Ben, do you, uh, do, do you look up there and see one that you'd like to... Uh, you, you know, I always go priest. All right, let's go priest. Priest is my preferred class in single player, so. We'll see how this goes in... Well, in multiplayer, I should say. So, see how it goes in single player. Running from dragons, and uh, all right, we're up against a giant rat here. Oh well, it is an RPG then. Yeah, it's your first boss. So. The light shall bring victory. Just toss those, cause we're each gonna be starting with a low amount of health here. His house says. So, is this Hearthstone or He Hearthstone? Uh, this is this is Hearthstone. He Hearthstone is in the future. <laughs> we don't have the technology yet to show you He Hearthstone. Yes. It won't be invented until that, that required the uh, robot from the future to come back and bring it with him. <laughs> right, so basically, you start off with like 15 health in this, but your opponent has 10. You know, it, it's it's pretty quick. Oh. He's actually going to get a, a trade in. How tricky. CNM 1301 with the callback to the uh, to the Final Fantasy, to the last stream of last year, the finale stream. So I came in and, uh, and we've got a mystery on our hands. Oh. The mystery of who forgot to flush the toilet before we all left for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Scott swears he didn't do it. And the thing is, it was in the ladies' room, so it could be almost anybody. It could be. That does not get used all that often. The dam stand ready. While the dam stand ready, we're going to go ahead and I believe win next turn, because I don't think he has anything that can stop this. I, I, in, I, I have a theory that it is almost impossible to lose to this guy. Or any of the level one bosses. But here we go. Kaboom. Goodbye. And boom, we, beat, we killed a giant rat. Hey, there you go. Breathed on it too hard and it died. As giant rats in RPGs are one. Yeah. 
Oh, and uh, we're playing on TFSs, so I'm going to be unlocking a lot of cards as we go on <laughs> because none of these decks have been really stacked out. Yeah, but first of all, uh, we get the ability to choose a passive. So uh, if I get large minions, the most they can cost is five mana. Uh, this will upgrade my hero power to healing two, uh, four health instead of just two, and it'll only cost one. And this will start me with an extra mana crystal, basically letting me put things out quicker. Uh, of these, Scepter of Summoning is probably going to be the best. I mean, that sounds really good. It is very good. Now we just got to hope that we have large minions. And what do you know? There are a couple here. Uh, Blaze Caller, if we wanted to go with Elementals, or if we want to summon the old one, uh, we can have a five mana Cthune which uh, his ability is pretty strong. What are you feeling, Ben? Uh, are we feeling elemental, or are we feeling like summoning the great old ones? Oh, let's let's get some great old ones. They sound All like right. they should have some beefy minions. One dungeon run is to be fighting eight monsters, one for each finger. We've got a bit drop for each finger here, because they're coming in. Holy crap. We got... Uh, oh, damn. Uh, it's just Smith Bubble with 500 bits. Says for the new year. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Is house dropping 750 New Year new bits? Oh yeah. We got Colonel Tash saying welcome back. Wanted to drop these yesterday, but hey, what can you do? You can wait till today apparently. And yeah, thank you for you doing go. so. It worked out. Thanks. Yeah. Roseblood Wolf dropping 500 bits saying welcome back, guys. Miss this every weeknight. We, we do see you just about every weeknight. Every, just about every weeknight I'm here. And we're happy to be back. Yeah. Crimson5106 says, Hey guys, welcome back. Can't wait to see the stream. How was your holiday, guys? How was your holiday? My holiday was good. I spent a lot of time with family, um, which is bo both good and bad at the same time. You know, <laughs> one of those situations. Well, let's see. I can do this one of two ways. I think I'll do it this way, though. Unfortunately, it kills my little baby dragon, but... And I see probate there with a thousand saying, Hearthstone, dual links are nothing. Is that a Yu-Gi-Oh thing? That is a Yu-Gi-Oh thing. In I, fact, I called it. I'm the best. <laughs> Who could possibly beat Ben? Not many. All right, well, we got Cthulhu next turn if we really want. I'm not sure we actually want that, though. Yet. So I got... On the day after, I decided to drop my customary $20 into the seasonal Overwatch event. Oh, yeah? Uh, got another $20 worth of loot boxes as a Christmas gift on the same day that Blizzard gave everybody five free loot boxes. Of course. So, yeah, I got all of the things from the Christmas event. <laughs> That's about... Oh, wait, I could have done that. Ah, no, I couldn't have. Oh, well. Boop. Truth of Pisces dropping a thousand bits, saying, been a while since I caught a stream, got a promotion at work, so wanted to share the wealth. Congrats. Congratulations. That's great. Oh, and Franken Frankenstein's Gate says, surprise no one's done this yet, as he drops 2,018 bits. Ha <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Frankenstein's Gate. Thank you kindly. Oh, we win. Boop. Didn't even need the great old ones yet. But you know what? We might need them later. Mikey, I'm like wanting to know if this is a Wednesday hum or just a we're easing back into this cash Wednesday. Yeah, that one. <laughs> we're easing back into this. It's cash Wednesday. All right. This one's not particularly great. Circle of healing, light of Naru. These are also not particularly great, which leaves... Well, it's something that buffs our Cthune. Hey. So, and uh, this will heal us back to full health. And we don't have any doubles. So, hey, that works out. Pathmaker Ham. There's more than one way for a kobold to dig a tunnel. And yes, for everybody wondering, uh, At the Table will be back next Tuesday. Yes, indeed. We are excited to hit the open seas. Like, that's that seems to be, like, what we're aiming to do. I mean, if we can convince that mimic ship to get up out there with us. Seems yeah, a little, as long as, long as uh, Golfer hasn't stolen it. Yeah. Seems a little reticent. <laughs> Some time. Although I'll, I'll admit it'll be a, a, a fairly piss poor pirate campaign if we can't get a boat somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
greetings. Boom, boom. Ow, how rude. You don't take boom, I mean, boom, you go boom, boom. Oh, it was taken off here. Oh, no. Um. Oh, there it is. How rude! Oh, oh. there we go. <laughs> See Chipmaster over there with 500 bits saying, Hey, guys, hope you had a great holiday. Would you ever consider doing a Team Wednesday hem at some point? Perhaps Team Texas versus B Team. That would be tough. We'd need to bring them in. But then I mean, we'd have the home field advantage. I mean, not necessarily. If, if we chose all online games. I guess. We, we could figure something out. It's a possibility. Uh, Dorshiet wants to know, is Anime FMK going to come out this week? Uh, that is actually why, if I seem... If I seem a little out of it, it's because... You guys were recording for what? Like, seven hours yesterday? Um, I mean, counting breaks, like nine hours. Yeah. Plus. Yeah. <laughs> we wound up with seven hours of material. Because, yeah, yesterday was our first day with everybody back in town to record. And, yeah, we recorded our regular show where we talked about the week's episodes. Then we recorded our, like, season finale retrospective. Let's talk about everything and announce who we're going to marry. And Aww, then... Oh, it finally happened. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we liked it, so we each put a ring on it. Uh, and then we recorded the Fuck Buddy Awards, where we talked about categories like, you know, <laughs> best soundtrack, best, uh, best individual episode, uh, best surprise, you know, stuff like that. Ways to, to give some spotlight to things that we, wasn't necessarily the whole package, but still had something to something to recommend it. Right. And yeah, turns out we had a lot to say. <laughs> so uh, so yes, the main show will come out tomorrow, definitely. Uh, the the season retrospective we are aiming for Friday, but that one went a little long. So. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. The fuck buddies were breaking up into parts and releasing throughout next week. <laughs> All right. So after our third boss, we get to choose a special card that is usually broken as fuck to put into our deck. Uh, in this case, uh, we have the Vorpal Dagger, which we can attack four times in a row with and will kill anything that we hit. Uh, we also have the Magic Mirror, which can grab any minion that's on the field, summon a direct copy of it, and then put a copy of it into our deck to use whenever we want. Mm. And then we have a bag of coins, which will fill our hand with zero mana cards that will basically give us a mana crystal so that we can summon a bunch of things. Uh, of them all, I think these two are the best. Yeah. Uh, and I'd lean this one, but which which do you feel, Ben? Um, I mean, I would lean, given the, the our, our theme of trying to get those big creatures out, I would lean Magic Mirror, because that seems like a real good... I agree. And Let's see. Ooh, we got some more old ones here. Ooh. We also got Kazakus, but unfortunately, like having no duplicates in the car in the deck, all of a sudden this kind of throws a damper on that one. Uh, so with Twin Emperor Veckler, he's pretty good because he'll summon a additional copy of himself as long as we can get his attack and health up to ten, Ooh. which is exactly what all of his cards are designed to do. So yeah, let's let's keep going with the great old ones. Very nice. Uh, I see. We also got 500 bits from Bird's Nest End. Uh, saying, hey guys, happy new year. Uh, I was wondering if you got a late Christmas dumpling I sent you. I don't believe we have not. The we, yeah, box. we have not been back to the P.O. box just yet, but we will make sure to check that so on Cash Fry we can do our fan mail Friday and keep yeah. everything above board. The light shall bring victory. XDJZix92 says, also, who is who all is excited for Monster Hunter World? I know Zito, Zito is. is. Yeah. <laughs> we, we're we just sitting here waiting for fighters. I mean, I'll probably play the same amount of both. <laughs> probably. I mean, you, you played uh, you played some of the beta with... Uh, yeah, but that that beta was not there to make a good impression on new players. It was I didn't think it would be. Yeah, nor did I. I was, you know, I was there to to fill out the roster and I was happy to do it. I I can definitely like I can catch those glimmers of what the appeal is, but that was that was clearly not the best way to jump in. So I'll be I will be interested to to see how it works when when the full game is out there and I can play through hopefully a proper tutorial. Makes sense. The beasts betrayed me. Fuck your beasts. The beasts betrayed me. 
How dare? But your shit can go to hell. Look at that. Thune's already at 80. We'll get him at 10-10 next turn. You dummy, you don't even have anything to use that on. What are you thinking? Let's see. Can I kill that? I can. Hyrule wants to know, do you know which platform Zito and perhaps you guys will be playing Monster Hunter World? Well, it's coming out for the PS4 first, I believe. Something like that. I don't think it's coming out on PC until later, so that kind of kind of makes the decision for us. It would seem that way, wouldn't it? Yeah. And Jack of No Trade says, remember January 13th is the Fighters Open Beta. Oh, oh we oh, know. Oh, yeah. Trust me. We know. We are. Yeah. We keeping that in mind. Yeah, we haven't made specific plans quite yet, but I'm I'm sure, you know, just like the last beta, I'm sure we'll be playing the fuck ton out of it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry, Sturmy, but you are dead. Oh my, one more, Shinderu. And that's what Cthune does. Cthune basically does its health and damage to everything. Is that a uh, is that a upon summoning ability? Yes, battle cry is okay. what they call it. It's whenever you're played, whenever played from your hand. Gotcha. All right. After uh, unfortunately, nothing big this time around. That's a shame. So let's see what else we got here. Corrupted heal bot. Convert. Put a copy of an enemy minion into your hand. Probably a least trailblazer is what I'd. This seems like the best little thing we got here. Obligatory troll boss important part of balanced dungeon diet. Isn't it though? All right. So uh, all of the death rattles are going to trigger twice, which means not much for us. This is the first guy we can potentially lose against. Because he's got a uh, pretty good deck. Anduin versus Athun. The light shall bring victory. I speak to the dead. Sarai? Sarai. Oh, she's back. Shuffle her in. She's on the. She's the next card. How? How do? All right. So basically, his quest, which he is more than likely going to complete, will turn his. Will basically give him full health again. Mm. So I don't think I'm going to use this just yet. Unless I think I can nuke him down before he gets there. But we'll gotcha. cross that bridge when we get to it. So sounds like sounds like the strat is to to spend this time setting up and let him yep. let him burn that. Yep, just build up our Cthune if at all possible. And it is in fact possible. Do you hear it? it's coming. And we'll deal damage where we can, because there's no point in trading that out. That's a good one. How unfortunate. But I think I have a way around it. Pop. Pop. Plus, I are going to have a massive Cthune. We also have... A massive, a massive number of subs. We got Vigil Wake here with the eight-month sub saying, we all do magic. We got The Last Green Seer with a six-month subs and Happy New Year, guys. Looking forward to another year of great content and many more years to come. Thank you kindly. Got uh, Magnesium with an Octo Prime sub saying, great to see you guys again. I missed the streams over the break. We actually might be able to beat this guy. Hey. 
like before he does anything. Which is always nice. Probably should draw on first, but eh, unnecessary. Three, three, three. He's really excited about the coming. <laughs> if you're not excited about the coming, then what are you doing with it? <laughs> All right, I think we actually got this. I think he's dead. I don't even think we need the Cthulhu. Oh, close. Very close. Let's see. Let's see, I could... How close is he? He's two, he's two uh, death rattles away. Hold on. Five. Oh, man, so close. Oh, well. Here, we'll boost up real quick. Ah, I would have had him. Oh, well. All right, well, we're just going to hope that he can't play. He has eight mana. It's a five mana card. Which means he would need to summon two uh, two death rattles with less than three mana. Okay. Well, he's effectively got in doing it. But does he have another one that only costs one mana? Also, that's annoying. But Okay, he can't summon it this turn. He got the magic mirror. Okay. <laughs> ah, still not able to summon it, though. Dummy. I'm going to have a 2020 Cthulhu out on the board that, in theory, should do the job. Oh, fuck you! Piece of shit. Whatever. A lot of little punches. It is, but he just got yeah. eight health back. Ah, he's got it. He's got it. Okay, whatever. 24-24 Cthulhu should make quick work of it, in theory. <laughs> Damn, stand ready. You only die twice. He didn't even play it. He didn't play the thing that would save his life. <laughs> you, can't, you can't calculate for that. <laughs> you just can't. I'm taking another Cthulhu. Why would you have just one when you could have two? Because he's dead. Uh -huh. See, sometimes the AI is dumb. You can't you can't calculate for things like that. Are we already? Oh, oh, this is our second passive. Okay, so we can draw two more cards, start with an additional mana crystal, or get our hero power to. I think upgrading the hero power would probably be best. Sure. Like none of these other things are. Particularly great. Well, another chance at Rise of the Unchained. Unfortunately, not going to be great since we have two Cthulhu's and two Cthulhu's chose or two Twilight Elders. So we got uh, 500 bits here from Duckles saying, Hey guys, happy to see you're back in town, but there's a guy doing a true 100% of Undertale where you get all the endings possible, and he's on like hour 30. Hot so, damn. So I gotta watch that. Here's sorry bits. Well, No worries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's we, we will take the silver medal after the gold that is your company, which is your bits. <laughs> all right. This guy's gonna be tough. Bring victory. Here, you are the hunted. Because he's just going to keep making things in his hand cheaper, and eventually we're just going to be overrun by massive things. Ah. So hopefully we can do something about that. Luckily, he won't be able to start reducing the cost of anything until turn three, but we aren't able to play anything until then either, so. This is my hunting ground. Up, oh, ah. One 
mana kill a random creature. Do you know the secret handshake? Right, here's here comes the pain, I think. You know nothing. Wow, he had both of them in his hand. Magnesium says dad should get some rest. No, oh, no, this is me getting rest. <laughs> this is me taking a break from editing. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm doing exactly what I want to be doing right now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we're doomed. Hi, Cthune. Really wish you were stronger right now. Let's see. Frankly, that's probably going to be better for right now. My beast will find you. Playing that later might have been better call. Yeah, probably. In theory. <laughs> I see we got a thousand bits here from Crofty1902 saying, Been a while since I tuned into a stream. Missed you guys. Love the Christmas special and your DB summer this year. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. Yeah. Right, we got a 9 9 Cthulhu. We would like to have it a slightly bigger. I am sad that. Uh, oh, <laughs> joke. Yeah, I am sad that uh, it being completed while the rest of us were on break meant that there was no uh, premiere stream for that Christmas special because it is always fun seeing those live reactions. Yeah. But boy, that turned out good. Whenever a character is healed, gain two attack. This is. Just gotta keep us alive right now, I think. I'd love to get at least plus one more on this Cthune, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh. Yeah, this, this, geez. The hunt ends. Oh. Insult to injury. The uncalled for violation. Poor Anduin. You're late. We'll show him. Yeah, how about that? You're not just gonna kill me, are you? That wouldn't be fun. Oh, you are. How unfun. I guess that's one way to think about it. The bones as a warning to the others. So we made it five out of eight. It's not bad. Would you like to give it a go? Uh, you, you know, <laughs> I think I would get murdered. <laughs> so I'll take a pass. Yeah, I'm going to ask if Kieran wants to take a stab at her real quick. Sure. Yeah, he's he's actually played this game more recently than, well, more recently than I have. Unless you count that one, uh, <laughs> that one Wednesday ham I got stomped at. <laughs> See if we got any more sub folks to call out. We got, uh, let's see. We got Asuk's BMW with uh, the six month prime sub saying, Happy New Year. Hope your break was all the epic. Oh, it was, it was very relaxing. <laughs> I enjoyed myself. Uh, we got 13th Hour with the Arcto sub saying, Woo, eight months, one more, and it's a sub, baby. I mean, Woo! It, it can be a sub preemie at eight months. It could be a sub preemie. Or, yeah. Uh, you know, it's what's, what's the term for one that's, like, late? I don't know. I don't I don't know how often that happens, because don't, don't they either. just C-section it at, at that point? At, at a certain point. Like, yeah. And, and then they can kill Macbeth. So that's real good. Mm. <laughs> kind of earns it, really. Yeah. I mean, you're basically got a superpower at that point. You can defy fate. It's great. That sounds good. Hey, yeah. Kieran. Hello. Welcome back. Hi. Uh, uh. All right. So uh, basically, you uh, start this off. You're going to be going up against a Wee Whelp. Uh, its hero power is deal two damage okay. to anything it chooses. It's basically like upgraded mage hero power. Gotcha. 
All right, so I'm a, I'm a babby. I'm a babby dragon. You're fighting against the babby dragon. Oh, I'm fighting so the babby dragon. So you have to choose dragon. a class. Okay. Um, of all of them, I say druid, warlock, and shaman are typically the easiest, but I won my first time on paladin, so whatever. Yeah. Dealer's uh, choice, though. I, I know how to play druid. I'll do that. <clears throat> and, yeah, playing druid is kind of exactly what you think. Jade or giant things. Cool. Easy enough. And this was added with uh, Kobolds and Cat yeah, Films. Yeah. I still have like 40 packs I got when it came out and I haven't opened. I gotta, gotta do that. I must protect the All right, You start with 15 <sighs> health and he starts with 10. Mm, okay. So it's usually pretty quick to kill. Mm -hmm. Like with the, with the right draw, you can kill him turn three. Yeah. Yeah, it seems pretty standard druid stuff. And Druid actually starts with like a really good basic deck. Dragon Man. Okay. Druid and Warlock probably start with the best things. Yeah, they're they're pretty good. Oops. <clears throat> that was one of those Black Rock Mountain eggs. Oh yeah, that's right. Whatever. Probably should have read it. That's okay. He's too dumb to trade. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh. Well. Shade. Rash Kavar says the other thing they do is induce labor chemically. They try to reserve C sections to when they're absolutely necessary because that's a big hole to carve in a, into a person. That makes sense. See how many babies I've had. <laughs> I'm, I'm ignorant. Face is the place. Face is the place. Unless he next turn, yeah. He wow. Okay. <laughs> actually, you just have the Druid of the Claw on your. Actually, oh, yeah. This. You're this. lethal on board. Done. Whatever. Get out of here, dum dum. And so, is it like, is this have the deck building elements to it? Or yes, you're else? actually okay. about to go into that. You nice. get to choose your first treasure right here. Uh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, not not necessarily great ones, but you can like start with extra ramp. Like that. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, and then. Uh, Choose my loot. Yeah, this is where you start taking your packs of cards. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I beasties. Like okay. Mark Yeshirash, that's good because you got a bunch of uh, beasts in your deck. Yeah. And then Candlebeard, give a minion charge. For that's one long. mana. Ooh, okay. Yeah, he gets kind of dangerous the further on you go. And I noticed it says two out of eight there. So is it just yes, like there are eight, eight there bosses, are eight bosses and like you win? Do you get something at the end uh, of it? After you win, you get, uh, well, if you beat it with all of them, you mm. get a special card back. Oh, cool. That's fun. And this is like the best thing Hearthstone has dropped probably since it started. <laughs> yeah, this this already oh, seems really cool. Great yeah, that's, that's kind of perfect. Oh, I love you, Candlebeard. <laughs> And they're all fully acted, and they have, like, little taunts and stuff to chide you with. Oh, yeah, and you're starting with two mana now, too. Yeah, that's all good. I see we got 500 bits here from Coin Man saying, found some couch cushion money for y'all. Thank you, Coin Man. Thank you. Yep. And uh, Thousand from Magnesium saying, thanks for Anime FMK. I tune in every week and got enticed by your description of recommendation of a wonderful virtual life. Tried it out, loved it. You guys were totally right. It's really good. Yeah. It is It is a perfect little gem of a show. It, that, it really is. Get that 3-2 on the board and trade that out. Yeah. yeah. Or, uh, actually, he's probably better. Yeah, hang on. At a random menu with five more. Yeah. What, what are you, two, two? It's pretty good. Okay, yeah. You're pretty good. And then you deal two damage to a random enemy. I've got 20 health. I just want you dead. Fair enough. Because then... Oh, cool. Oh, thank God you have swipe. Oh, shit. That's right. It's hero <laughs> power. Do it. I dare you. You bastard. Next turn, you got a good... Yeah. Um, I don't know who else he might have. I mean, he's in easy mode, dude. I'll, yeah, I'll tell you right away, he has uh, 
that vicious fledgling, so silencing that oh. is usually really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah I hate that piece Dallin, of crap. Maybe. Eh, yeah, why not? It might die cheaply to the cannon, but yeah. Okay, he didn't play a. Well, he still might have a pirate, I guess. Nope. Yeah, go for it. Trading or? Nope, too dumb. He traded oh. face. He's dead. <laughs> yep. Hey, there we go. Can't ca you can't calculate for stupidity. <laughs> There you go. Swipe. Swipe is lethal. And so is Punchies. Bam. Yo ho, no! Oh, poor Candlebeard. Congratulations, you were in Star oh, Starfire. Oh man, I got Starfire! Because we're playing our free to play account here. <laughs> Alright, more uh, stuff. We got Malagos, Jungle Kings. Let's see. Mm. Not great. I'm not, I'm not feeling anything token stuff. Malagos might be a little too big. These these aren't bad, though. Yeah, I'm, more, I'm, more, more beasties. Yeah, but, like, uh, I have so many fives already. But, but yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, so, sometimes you get shafted. Yeah. Like, I'm surprised you haven't come across much jade yet. Furlbolg Warrens. Freeze a minion for two. I see we got 550 bits here from Northland, Minnesota. I'm assuming that's what the MN is. If you had the power of territory from Yu Yu Hakusho, what power would your territory have? I watched like five episodes that's of Yu Yu Hakusho. That, that's, that's, that's from uh, Chapter Black. <laughs> that's a question for you. <laughs> have you not watched Yu Yu Hakusho either? I haven't seen that far. No. Oh, wow. I, I watched the Dark Tournament like everyone else, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> the territory is Chapter Black with all the psychic humans. Um, I I remember the blue collar comedy beasts. That yeah, was <laughs> that, that was the greatest. <laughs> that was your favorite arc. Yep. Some say that Toriyama wanted it to end there, <laughs> but Toriyama wasn't writing that series, so he didn't get much of a say. <laughs> In that eyeball. I'd want to be able to control the flow of time. It's a good power, man. It's just gen generally a good power. It's one of those powers that's so good that mostly only villains get it because yeah. right. It's, it's so it's OP. Too good. Yeah. No reason to hide that. Uh, it means that's so low health. Handle it. Well, now it's handled. What? I mean, I guess that makes some sense. He handled it. Um. What do you, what's here? And we got a thousand here from Sotano, Sotano Baumong saying downside of running a business is sometimes have to work till midnight, even though working hours technically end at 8 p.m. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Upside is I get to catch you guys. Hope you had a good break. Welcome back and happy new year. Happy Thank new you so year much. to you as well. Happy new year. He just keeps getting bigger. I'm surprised that honestly in this uh, dungeon, I'm surprised they give you uh, Shade of Nox Ramus. It's, it's really just a very good. interesting card to give to you. Yeah. Um. I, must save I see we got 1500 here from NG saying, glad to hear everyone had a safe and nice holiday. That's the best. It, it, was, it was good. And he's dead because he was too dumb to function. Oh, never mind. But still dead. Still quite, very dead. Quite dead. I did gingerbread houses with my little nieces and nephews. Oh, you did? Yeah. I've never made one. So my, uh, my wife and her sister made a gingerbread house with my nephew. Oh, nice. I was uh, down there in Florida. Death. Every year. I've been doing it every year since I was a kid. That's one of our family uh, and things. And now you get a special Ooh. treasure, which is a super OP card that you just get added mm, to your mm -hmm. deck. And since you don't have much, like, by way of clear, that Wand of Disintegration yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty that's fucking good. good. <sighs> yeah, it turns out that oh, 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 oh. a layer of gingerbread, layer of frosting, layer of M&Ms, which is how I always did my roof, uh -huh. is, like, the best flavor combination. If, if that were just a candy bar that I could buy in a store, that would be, like, 15 extra pounds on me right there. <laughs> right. <laughs> what are you feeling here? I don't know. Starfall's dumb. It is. It's very dumb. It's real dumb. Um, 
Lunar Visions is good. Lunar Visions for the card draw, considering your deck is like eighty percent minions. Yeah, and that's plus Yasera is. Yeah, I, I, I like I like Yasera. Yeah. And, yeah. Not to mention, I'm I'm gonna spoil like a possible passive that you can get. Mm. One passive is your minions' maximum cost can be is only five. Oh my god! So that's a great. five mana Yasera. Yeah, that's good. Like yeah, there's there's a lot of great passives you can get. Double your battle cries, which is amazing with Jade. Yeah. Double death rattle. Double your health. Yeah, it seems like this can get uh, way out of hand. It can. One of my favorite uh, treasures that you can get is a minion called Wax Rager, which is a 5-1 with Death Rattle resummon this minion. Oh, really? Yeah, get that with uh, double Death Rattle, and all of a sudden you just have a board full of unkillable 5-1s. <laughs> That's crazy. Next, Marok dropping 500 bits saying, So, Ben, did you ever find out who took a big old dump right before the break? It wasn't number one, thankfully. Yeah, only number one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those who, uh, I was telling Nick, those who turn, tuned in for our, uh, for the Final Fantasy VII uh, season finale stream on the 29th, uh, got, got treated to me discovering that somebody forgot to flush before we all left for vacation. Yeah. Lovely. So, yeah, great. I don't think it was me. <laughs> I, it might have been. I, I don't know. Yeah, and here's the thing. It was in what's ostensibly the ladies' room, so it could have been yeah. just about anybody because that does not get used often. Yeah. We <laughs> Probate dropping a thousand bits. Yeah, let's uh, let's <laughs> let's move on to happier things. Gingerbread lumber bars. <laughs> Frosted gingerbread cookie Ooh, topped nice. with candied chocolates. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. That sounds good. That sounds great. That thing's not much of a threat. No, not really. Neither of those are really. Oh, okay. Red King Death wants to hear the waterbed story that I teased oh, everybody yeah, with. Oh, yeah, yeah. You never oh, dropped that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, bitch. Oh, man. Spoke too soon. <laughs> not much of a threat became a threat. So when I was in college, my roommate was offered a free waterbed uh -huh. by somebody who didn't want to take the trouble of disposing of it properly. And he accepted because he was in college and it was a free waterbed. And number yeah, hunter, thank you for the five thousand bits. Woo! I'll interrupt my story for that. Dude, thank, thank you, number you. hunter. Holy shit! Uh, hey, I can kill that little bitch. The that little I can bitch. Kill <laughs> and uh, uh, I would just go face because he's gonna have to trade that anyway. Yeah. So yeah, had this waterbed, and I hate waterbeds. I don't know about you guys. They are like the no least. No way. They will They're... fuck up your back. Yeah. They, they yeah, can. yeah. But it was free, so he took it. And and then it was, then he was moving out of the apartment. I was staying there. I had another roommate lined up to take over his part of the lease. Mm -hmm. But this new roommate quite intelligently said, no, I do not want to take your stupid waterbed. Get it out of what is now my bedroom, please, <laughs> before you move out. Uh, so when when my old roommate acquired this waterbed, he apparently did not acquire with it the pump that one uses to <sighs> empty oh, no. it out. Oh, okay. So rather than go and spend what would have probably been like $15 on a new pump, yeah. because again, college student, he decided like, look, I have no, like, I'm not taking this waterbed with me. I have no new wonderful home to take it to that would love it and care for it. Uh -huh. I'm just taking this thing out to the dumpster. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh -huh. I don't, all I care about is getting the water out of this bed. Yeah. Oh no. So, so we so like- So what did college Ben do? So we find like- With, with we, your degree. <laughs> so we find a length of hose that will like, you know, like attach to this valve, like, okay. And just like, you know, just run it out the window or whatever, and then realize, well, okay, but there's nothing like pushing the water out of this hose. And we kind of like try and sit on the bed. Oh no. To like get the water out. <gasps> uh huh. And that works like a little, but it's, yeah, this is not going to, like, after a while it becomes clear, like, yeah, the amount of water that we are capable of displacing this way is not going to be sufficient. So, okay, fine, fair enough. Uh, and, and then he comes upon the bright idea like, okay, this waterbed, I mean, it is only going out to the dumpster. It does yeah. not need to be intact. 
right. Yeah, right. So if we can just, like, get the mattress out and just, like, roll it out the door, uh -huh. I can then, like, take a knife to it and then just let it drain out into the parking lot. Perfect. Yeah, it's a brilliant uh -huh. idea. Yeah, seems, you know. Wonderful strategy. Yeah. So, <laughs> only it turns out that water is real heavy. Yeah, a little. Yeah. We, we are not physically capable of lifting, you know, two guys, two... Two manpower is not enough manpower to lift a, a mattress full of water up out of the bed frame. So instead, we sort of dismantle the bed frame around it. Okay. We, like, the board, one of the sideboards that keeps it in, we, we just kind of crowbar it out, uh -huh. right? And then decide to, like, just try to pull the waterbed out onto the floor so we can yeah. kind of, like, continue rolling it out. Yeah. And, and we do, and we get it onto the floor, not without, you know, springing a leak because of one of the nails that had been holding the bed frame together. So now we've got this slowly leaking waterbed sitting on the floor. Of course. Mm -hmm. And then we realize, yeah, we are still, we are not physically capable of removing this bed from the apartment with our puny man strength. Mm -hmm. Like... I don't know, six or eight guys, if they could figure out how to correctly apply enough leverage, maybe. Mm -hmm. Two guys, no. Just flat impossible. Right. This is when we this is when my roommate comes upon the bright idea. Well, okay. We are not strong enough to do this, but my car is a lot stronger <laughs> than I am. Okay. Yeah. And I have it is. and I have a lot of rope. <laughs> <laughs> The story's getting better. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So, <laughs> I've told this story many times, and I have told a version of it that casts me in a better light. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> gonna tell that version right now because it's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As they often are. So we grab up the water, the like a corner of the waterbed, like bunch it up and tie the rope around it, and we mm. run it out the door and fasten the other end to the bumper of his car. And... <laughs> that seven will automatically pull Yeshiraj if it gets killed. Okay, yeah. so... Yeah. Uh, and and me, foolishly thinking that... Because it kind of has to go around a corner to, to get out the front door, this rope does. Uh, foolish me, I'm thinking that the biggest danger here is that the friction... But of the the rope going around the door frame might damage the door frame, so I wrap a little towel around it. This, <laughs> okay. is, this is how wrong-headed I am about yeah. what what the problem with this idea is. <laughs> Easy kill. And so my friend, my my roommate, is in the bedroom, like trying to keep an eye on things, and Ooh. I'm in the car, Ready trying to, to put it. gentle pressure mm -hmm. on the gas pedal, and it's. It's going back, and it's, boy, it is not going. Yeah. It's not moving. And so I'm trying to, you know, just gently, gently, ever so gently increase the pressure until the car starts here? to move. And then the car moves real quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it does. And then the rope comes out the door, and it is followed by a wall of water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. Yep, hardwood floor. We so we grabbed up all of the like brooms that we had on hand and started just like shoving this water <laughs> out the door as fast as we can, <laughs> like grabbing stuff off stuff off yep. the floor, trying to save get everything it all we up. can. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get your deposit back? <laughs> Believe it or not, I lived in this apartment for another year after this. Okay. Okay. My new my new roommate wanted no part of any of this water damaged ass apartment. But he cuz he didn't want to, you know, be blamed for this upon yeah. move out and who could blame him. Uh so I said, "Look, I I will tell you what. We will we will go cuz I didn't cuz nobody else is going to is going to rent this place from me." Mm -hmm. Right. Know, or with me. And I can't afford, this is a two-bedroom place, I cannot afford to have my rent doubled with no roommate. So I am I need this guy to move in. So I I'll tell you what, we will not put your name on the lease, 
So there is no way you can legally be, we will, you know, by gentleman's handshake agreement, if mm. you agree to pay half of the rent, we won't put your name on the lease. You, you know, we're not going to ask you to put down any deposit, obviously. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to, you know, to the landlords and let them know, hey, this is what happened so that everything's above board. We're not defrauding anybody. Yeah. Right. And, and we'll just, you know, and then when we move out, like whatever damage is there, you know, I and my old roommate, we will still be on the hook for. We will leave his name on the lease as though he were renting. Like, and we're going to tell everybody this is the plan and make sure everybody's cool with this. And we did. The landlord sent in a building inspector to inspect the floor. And he's like, yeah, I mean, this is obviously there's water damage on this hardwood floor. And you could tell there was. It was yeah. like the, this... It was like a roller coaster. It was all bumpy and warped mm -hmm. and fucked up. Yeah. Because it was, you know, like swelling up. Uh, but after this was right before the summer, and after this, a summer of this drying out, windows open all the time, like the swelling went down a lot. And after another year of being in there, and so like I say, the apartment, they knew that they could have fucked us on this right. hard. But all the swelling went down. You wouldn't have known that anything had ever happened. We got our entire deposit back. That's that's great. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Kieran, I'm going to give you a quick hint on Gutmook. Eventually, he's going to play a uh, Burgly Bully, which every time you play a spell, he gets a coin. Uh huh. You can you can actually mill him with that. If he does that, I mean, okay. you'll, you'll you'll survive a hit yeah, with Mukla yeah, right yeah. now. I'm just. Hmm. It's unfortunate, like, yeah, you, I don't you, have... you've drawn fairly yeah. poorly. Yeah, it hasn't been great. Mm. Let's see. The McCream. Holy crap. I need to tell the waterbed story more often. <laughs> the McCreamer <laughs> with 10,000 bits. Oh, oh like a happy ending. And then Introspective Spy with another 10,000 bits. Oh, my God. Shit. <laughs> Says, Happy New Year. Can't wait to see what you guys have in store for 2018. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And then Inferno, right, whoa, so whoa, with, with 5,000 bits. Says, oh my I meant God. to give Thank these you. before the break, but my boss forgot our bonus. Have my late bits as thanks. Yeah, Thank, Thank you. you Thank, Thank all you guys. Thank Holy you so shit. Much. How many uh, cards does he have in his hand? Five? Uh, he's got five. Nah, unfortunately, that's not enough to mill him. Yeah. So I guess just kind of hold. Yeah, I'm just holding this Holding shit. pattern. Hit face with a uh, uh, Well, at least it was a bad mulch. Oh. <laughs> that's sort of bad mulch. That golden dragon's going to be back there counting bits for a while. Yeah. <laughs> that, that takes longer yeah. to count the, uh, the higher the bit drops. Yeah, that's going to be gonna be a bit <sighs> um you're close to lethal if you got with you get that strangle thorn tiger out and just keep it in face yeah yeah I'll, i will do this because you can wipe his board with that you yeah. don't have to yet though because he's gonna have some strong shit that he's gonna throw out i do in fact yeah i'd probably start hitting them with the bananas and just hit face because yeah. he's gonna play a bunch of stuff and you can just use that wand of disintegration on it all and then hold the swipe, because if he sees you have lethal, he will actually start trading. Oh, okay. The AI is halfway smart sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Ah. All right, well, let's see. He should have a bunch of stuff to play. <laughs> All right. That's oh. not, not enough to kill. Yeah. Unless he has another one of those, which he has been known to cheat. <sighs> what? Really? I think he's just emptying his hand, but who knows? Nope. Okay, so wand of disintegration, yeah. and you will base. Oh, let's see. Torquil yeah. Torquil yeah. Has first. What you got? My oh. oh, man. I haven't seen your face in forever. I know. <laughs> Ever since she's been banned. Still, uh, wand of disintegration first. You can play yeah. her next turn if you have yeah. to. Run everything and run everything you got in the face except swipe, maybe. Yeah, swipe's gonna be the finisher. Yeah. I don't know if he can kill both of those. I wish I had funny, like, college stories. I, I have none. And he's dead. 
Yeah, yeah the most I have is a time that a drunk dude just kind of wandered into my room thinking it was his. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me, I I have more dumb college stories. <laughs> Good, you'll have to regale us with a few. <laughs> GG, yeah. most people died of gun their first try. The irony was they could have totally screwed us on, not even screwed us, they could have legitimately taken out of our deposit for things other than Those the floor, nice. which really yeah, like which really was fine. Yeah. Like like the door that we broke. <laughs> <laughs> and when I say we, I mean a house guest in one of our drunken parties <laughs> who drunkenly was the last person left awake and tried like a good house guest to close the door after yeah. the last person to leave and then it wouldn't close and then drunkenly tried to close it Harder and harder and harder oh, until he split the door. Jesus. Oh, good. Yeah, it turns out the deadbolt was drawn and it was banging against the door frame. Yeah, with this guy, you're going nice. to want to uh, trade as much as possible. And I'd probably hold that. Yeah, I'll keep that Just in case. Just in case things get out of control. His hero power is nuts. Let's see, cost one. What do you, what do you do? Cost one, uh, take, uh, like, create or make one minion, cost three, uh, three mana Fucking more, basically. Gotcha. It's basically like super evolve. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll get, I'll get some get some get some doodads out there. Get some diddy bops. Shiraz really loves being in your opening hand. <laughs> but hey, you can save both of them and trade later. So. Oh oh oh! Wait wait. What? Uh, trade one of your dudes into that one one and then punch the two one. That way, neither of them die. Aha, he did it again. Oops. Except this time. What? What's it going to be? Oh, it's not that bad. Terrible. You're okay for right now. Grab some more water. You sure. Anything while I'm up? I'm you good. Uh, yeah, probably Lunar Visions. Yeah. Let's do what I get. Well, it's not too spooky. That's nice. That's good. That's a good one. Yeah, you can oh, play that and that next turn. Uh, oh my god, those assholes. Wow, he actually traded. Ooh, fun. Let's see. Ooh. I like his board's gonna get a lot crazier, so that one yeah, yeah, integration's yeah. not that good yet. I like. I'll see what let's see what you got. Um Divine Shield. Yeah, Divine probably. Shield. Yeah. And then hmm. I wouldn't power the wild here. Oh, no. Yeah, that's not good enough. Whatever. I'll armor up at least. And God, I hate. Yeah, if, if you punch one, he's just going to evolve it. Yeah, so I it doesn't hate really changing. Matter. Yeah, whatever. Have you run into many Kaliseth decks? Um, yeah. They're, pr they're pretty ridiculous. Yeah. No trading, huh? All right, now is probably a good wand of disintegration time. Yeah. No, thank you. Wand of disintegration. Fledgling, then, probably? Yeah, I... Fledgling gets spooky. Runaway Fledgling is, like, my favorite. Piece of shit. <laughs> gonna pop. Fucker! Oh my god, you asshole. All right, well, your giant anaconda is good here at yeah, least. Yeah, yeah. Actually, so oh, hang on. What, uh, she's a, oh, yeah, hang on. And then, would that trigger? Hold on. Druid of the Fang, Power of the Wild. That... And then you can Menagerie Warden the Druid of the Fang next yes. turn. Yes, yeah, let's do that. Oh, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Or the Flappy Bird if it gets good. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how Flappy Bird goes. All right. I'm probably so gonna, yeah, I'd probably just trade with him and wait. Any damage the bird doesn't have to take, the better. Yep. Haha! <laughs> you can't kill it. I mean, he can. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh, but he left it up. Interesting. Huh. Alrighty. Well, now Menagerie Warden can copy Flappy Bird. Yeah. Join the pack. Unfortunately, you do have to trade this time, but because if if that becomes an eight mana card, yeah, that's gonna yeah, be insane. Yeah, no, that, that is gonna gonna be bad. But you got two birds. Yeah, I got the extra ones. So that's not terrible. 
Whatever, you don't even need the extra mana right now. Whatever. That thing's dumb. You're dumb for having it. Oh. Oh. I see. I think you're still okay, though. Yeah. I think, I think I'm fine. You don't um, need to silence anything yet. No, I want to silence that. Why? <laughs> that seems like a poor <laughs> idea. I wouldn't do that. Um, I'll get the tiger out. Get the put tiger. Out. The tiger board. is pretty good, and then uh, it's fun. Force of the wild doesn't. Oh, you can trade the one of your five fives into the other. Actually, you can kill the four five instead of the five five. Maybe. Yeah, you can do that. And face with face with the birds. Let's see what you get there. Yeah, let's see. Wind, wind fury. fury. Wind Fury. Yeah. yeah! Uh, health. Yeah, plus two health. Yeah. Wind Fury. Let's go. Ah. Uh, Health or spells and yeah, I, I'll, I'll take that one. And I'm thinking just gonna... you can trade your six three into the five five, and then get the oh. force of nature, and it protects your birds and gets you three. Two yeah. Threes. Yeah. Efficient board. Whatever. Stupid. Stupid line. Stupid. Anyway. You're stupid and dumb. That's annoying, but That's hey, an you have annoying, the perfect trade for it. That's annoying, but you have nothing. It. You have the perfect trade for it. Yeah, hey. And you can get Yeshiraj out now. Get out of the way. Holy crap. Praisner Zul, not to be outdone, with 15,000 bits. Oh my god, thank you. Damn, yeah. Praisner Zul. He says, the snows of the winter times fall strong and thick upon my homelands. They bring this old specter such a strong breath of life. I am made anew and stand revitalized. I wish to impart unto Fine. thee, great yeah. makers. This hopefully <laughs> conveys my message of gratitude to your works at giving a goofy hermit a good laugh and some good times. Side note, I forgot how wordy I can be. I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you back, Brazen Zool. Hope you had a great holiday season. Jaraxxus. <laughs> yep, there he goes. Game over. Jaraxxus on the board. Game fucking over. Could not handle Yeshiraj. Yeah, that's, that's a... Come on there, birdie boo. The bird with the kill. Far below. Far below. But don't worry about that. Hey, Moonfire. Just kidding. You have to worry about that now. Uh, Wax Rager is so fucking good, but Golden Cobalt is also good. Nah. But Wax Rager is the... Uh. It's I, I I I there's a special place in my heart. Yeah, for wax him. ragers. I, I love all the ragers. They're they're goofy. That's fun. Resummon this minion. So fucking <laughs> broken. Yeah, I I love that. Like every time I get him, I hard like reorient everything around it. Yes. No. Every like every opening hand, I'm like wax wax ragers in here. Discard all. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. Um, I kind of like golden cobalt though. All right. This is your deck. Hurts my heart a little, but it's okay. I'll see him again. <laughs> we got uh, 500 bits here, also from Dresden Nova, saying, I don't have a ton of bits to spare, but please upload that clip to the TFS Gaming channel. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Also, Sup, Kieran, how are you liking KR This is one build? of the most difficult bosses because it is entirely luck dependent. Hey, I am all about luck. All right, let's do it. <laughs> What did you say? What they what they ask? Uh, he was asking if you're watching KR Build. Never heard of oh, that. Common, oh, Common Rider Build. Oh, I, Kamen Rider. Uh, I haven't um, watched it yet. The designs look awesome, but I haven't watched it yet. So you're gonna notice the difficulty spike just about here. I must protect the wild. And if you are feeling even mediocre about any of those cards, I would shuffle them because you're gonna lose a, a two thirds yeah. of your deck. Well, that discard, that's my my two cards. Yes, so, only you. Yeah, only me. Yeah, the bo the bosses are the things you technically build your deck around. Yeah. Oh, good, you got Lunar Visions. That's going to help yeah, a that, lot. That, that'll be nice. Let's do Another night on set the you track. up. <clears throat> Let's see what we're missing. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah all right. That's fine. That's okay. Those are okay. I don't know. You got a good power of the wild combo with those. Yeah. You can just hit face, I guess. There's no reason to trade against that guy since he has to trade eventually. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, shouldn't I wait, though? I don't know if I should use the mana now or wait. 
Mm, it's up to you. Uh, I'll use it now. Yeah, 3-3 three, three for 1 is not bad. <sighs> Prisoner Zool taking off for the evening. Thank you so much, Prisoner Zool. Thanks, dude. Thank you, Prisoner Zool. Thanks for dropping by. We also got 750 more bits here from Sautano Baumong saying that story was worth some bits. Thanks for sharing, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> right. And you got you got the good version of the story where yeah. I'm exactly as dumb as I actually was. <laughs> for a long time, I was so embarrassed by that story, I would uh, alter it to make it all my roommate's fault. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Marky Esherage, though. That's good. Yeah. Like, the more card draw you get yes. in this battle, the better. Oh, oh that sucks. Oh, no. <gasps> you... Butthead. Ha, dummy. Alrighty. Alrighty. Um, let's do... Now. Probably Yeshiraj the Raptor? Yeah, that's a good idea. Nice. Uh, but yeah, you definitely No, yeah, I won him. That's fine. <laughs> Too bad he didn't come out earlier, but... We just gotta hope that we draw Yeshiraj. Yeah! Oh, nice. Right, probably, um, I'd probably clone the raptor. I, yeah, I'm thinking cloning the raptor. Because this is gonna be this is gonna be a value-oriented game. Yeah. And do we trade into that and then kill oh. what comes out? I, Cause I think, yeah, because I can. No, I can, no, no, no. Uh, With okay. the raptor, probably, because you want to oh, poison yeah. whatever comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Oh, that could have gone so much better. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Shit. yeah, that's not. That's not it's not. It's still g g getting rid of that is always good. Yeah. Oh well. Is that a new card? That yes, one. yes, that is a Kobolds and Catacombs card, that's and cool. it is real good. Yeah, that seems real good. It is as anti-aggro as you can get. If I swipe. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Boo. We also got 500 real good bits here from Humble Pie telling a story of going to a JoJo themed bar in Osaka. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where that is. I went by there. Yeah, everything's all the the drinks have JoJo character names and mm -hmm. the server says a quote from each character when they serve your drink and they yell Arrivederci when you leave the bar. <laughs> no, that, that's, that's, that's awesome. good. Those, uh, those sure are some good references. <laughs> I don't know JoJo's. I'm sorry. Still a chance here. This is th this is not a lost game. Those weren't bad. Those weren't bad. Yeah, numbers. that's okay. That's fine. You will regret this. God. It's gonna get kind of mm. spooky here. All right. Uh, can you play mm. anything with the Ixalid? Uh, oh, and yep. Happy Bird. Yep. There we go. Nice. All right. Probably trade some things out to protect bird. Yeah. Um, um, can't kill the six, unfortunately. Or six, six, unfortunately. Yeah. Kill the six, three. Let's see what you give me. All right. <laughs> All right. Not the best, but you my know. boy, my man, Leopard Gnome, used to be used to be top tier. Uh, until, you, until you became a one one. Yeah. Probably the four three to protect the birds. Man. The, the basically we're just praying he doesn't have hellfire but if he had hellfire I think he would have played it by now yeah don't touch my birds and then just hit face cool thank you voodoo doctor that's an okay one drop uh, alrighty okay alrighty I think I have a no hellfire Run away birds, gonna uh Okay. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah, birds run away. Yeah, run, run away, away birds. Just both get wind fury and, and there both we go. get divine shield. <laughs> um of course. Yeah, yeah divine no. shield probably be best. Yeah, I would go with that. Uh yeah. yes, I'll go with that for you. Wind fury, please! Uh hell plus three, yeah. Gotta stay alive, my dude. Druid of I mean you can 
play at all. Yeah, I'll, I'll, pl- I'll play him, but... I, th- I think right now we're playing a face game. That's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Snakes. And do we play the Savage Combatant 2? Or... How many cards do you have left in your deck? I've got five. Oh, man, Yeshirash is going to pull, like, one. Yep, he'll get, he'll get one dude. He'll get one guy out of him. I think the worst thing about this is I know for a fact he runs Doom, so probably hold off on Combatant okay. and go face with everything. All righty. Got Divine Shield on you. Come back, and you're going to get Wind Fury, and I'm going to love you. It's going to be fine. Everything's okay. Oh. It's going to be fine. <laughs> okay, he didn't play Doom. Which means he doesn't need it. Okay, he's not trading the bird. He's too scared. He's too scared of the bird. He knows. Yep, whatever. Pop your dumb shield. You might actually have this. Mm, let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, mulch is okay. All right. Uh, I think the Seven. automatic answer is yes, Shiraz. Right. Yes. Just to make sure you get things out on the board. Yeah. Let's see what the birdie gives us. We need Wind Fury. Wind Fury, birdie! Just to, just to deal that extra damage. Yes! Oh! <gasps> Oops. Accidentally. Well, it, it was it's probably a, the best option. Yeah, probably the best uh, option. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not, not terrible. What do we get? I was going to say, is there nobody left? <laughs> oh, good. We get the... Well, hey, at least you got one more thing out. That's right. And, and there it goes. And... And... Come on. You can't kill Yeshirash. You, you can't kill him. Oh, he can. Well, that's very that's, that's very disappointing. That's Oh, he didn't oh, do he it! Did it. He's too stupid! Why are you He's so dumb? fucking dumb? What is wrong with you? What's this guy's name? You're dumb, whoever you Azari are. Azari the Devourer. Azari the Devourer. He was af- he's too afraid he's of He's too Yesh- afraid of the Elder God. The old You're ones done. have crushed the demons. Yes! <laughs> well played, Kieran. Well I, played. I mean, that was... As much well, luck as you said it would be. <laughs> <laughs> that was all luck that he was too dumb. You were too smart for it. <laughs> oh, yes, clearly. Outplayed. What? Yeah! There we go! You did it! And I've, now you'll have a little crown. I've played a few druid. That was fun. Yeah. That was cool beans. Yeah, I've been, I've been playing a lot of that mode. That mode is like, like I said, the best thing to about Hearthstone right yeah, now. Yeah, that's that's really cool. I was never huge on Tavern Brawl, so that's really fun to me. Yeah, I mean, every now and again, the Tavern Brawl can be fun. Yeah, but sometimes this they have one, some crazy shit. Like this is this is a good mode. Here, I'll, I'll give that to you. <clears throat> All right, I'm I'm gonna be playing plenty more of this later on tonight on my own channel. <clears throat> so, if, uh, did we have anything else that we really wanted to show off here? I know we were talking about maybe throwing around some Jackbox or whatever. Yeah, I think think Jackbox is kind of the nice fallback option when we're looking for something a little more relaxing. Duh. Well, you get that set up. I think we do have a couple more. Oop, I'll kick us back over to Cam here. Uh, we got, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got Gola from Beloa with 700 bits saying, I have no idea what's going on, but it's good to see y'all at the start of 2018. Love the Christmas special, DB Sember, and Ben's waterbed story. Thank you, Gola from Beloa. Thank you. Uh, we also got from the Slipstream, 500 bits, saying, Just got here. Hopefully you guys had a great holiday and wondering when D&D will be back. It'll be back next Tuesday. Yes, it will. And we got Crimson Phoenix with 1,000 bits saying, You guys are taking my bit virginity. Enjoy it. <laughs> also really enjoyed the story about college, Ben. I've heard many stories on Twitch that made me laugh, and that was one of the best ones. Also, forgive me for making this reference, but I feel like that boss activated your trap card. I see what it is that you did there. It was a trap. Th- that involved cards. Uh, yeah. 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 Yep. Good one. Thank you. <laughs> do we have video on there yet? Nope. Uh, we do not. And I can, uh, you know what? I don't know what. There, we go. there it is. Okay. Fixed. Hey, let's, let's. We have it right on this. Yeah, I think we got the fourth one. Yeah. It's not showing up for the people at home quite yet, but I'm going to try and fix that real quick. Because, yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know what this LG is set to, but probably not PS4 until I fix that, which I will. And Sometimes you have to deactivate and reactivate. Yeah, that's what I'm what I'm trying for here. So that might flicker in and out for a second here. Hey, there we go. Done did it. All right, so I will be right back. All right, I was about to ask you to explain some of these games, but uh, so I played these. Okay. Um, I haven't played Monster Seeking Monster enough, but I didn't enjoy what it looked like. Bracketeering is pretty much Super Fight. Um, it's just like you, you, you're you given a prompt and you put an answer for who you think would uh, win this prompt, and then you vote on it. Okay, I like Make that. Make a case, vote on it. Um, Civic Doodle is a co-op drawing thing. It's like... It's, it's on a very strict timer, and you're just drawing something, then it goes another round, and people keep adding shit to your doodle, and everybody votes on what they like. Okay. Guys, uh, what, what happens when you add 10,000 more bits to your doodle from A to the dub? Oh, oh damn. shit. Uh, Holy it, shit. It turns out you surprised the fuck out of us. Happy New Year, A to the dub. Thank you so yeah. much. A to the dub says, Happy New Year, everyone. Y'all's content keeps getting better and better. Here's to another great year. Thank you so much, dude. All right, what's Survive the Internet? Survive the Internet is hilarious. This is where... Um, you you write uh, comments. You basically give your opinion, like as if you're giving a comment. You know, spelling errors, however you want to write it, to a prompt. Then, like, so it's like, how do you feel about pickles? I don't know. They they make any sandwich better. And then now you're saying, now you get someone else's answer. You get someone else's comment, and you say this comment would be great on or terrible on an uh, on on a video titled blank. So they make any sandwich better is a horrible comment okay. on this okay. video. You know. Pretty fun. That's, yeah, that's it, creative and Fibbage is obvious. and yeah, Fibbage is Fibbage is good. Okay, um, I, I am cool with either bracketeering or survive the internet out of that. I like survive the internet. Um, bracketeering, I didn't get too far in. Um, but although bracketeering does have more players, yeah, it's got. We'll we'll, we'll have to play both because we got an hour here uh, uh, almost. All right, let's. So to Nabalmung, if you've played any of the Xenoblade games, it's Xenoblade Chronicles Two is just like it. All right, let me uh, blank this out for a second so we can all get into... Well, they also have this other stuff here, too. Oh, that's interesting. Like this. Allow room code hiding. Well, we don't want to do that, necessarily, because we want people at home to be able to get in. It's to prevent players from joining early, so you can say it like after people are in. Okay. If you want. Um, then you also have this. You can do extended timers. But, you know. Which is probably good, I'm guessing. Right. Maybe. I don't know. I'll throw that back What's on require again? Twitch? Um, players have to be logged into Twitch to join the game. I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, that probably doesn't work because we aren't necessarily. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, I have we'll no just idea. do the hide thing. Uh, right uh, now. Yeah. Now let me. I'll try this out. I'll see see if it does what I think it does. But then how are we supposed to see it? Oh, okay. Oh, and then, oh, and then we can, okay. Then all right. I. I, get <laughs> I was it. I was thinking like. Wait, how are we supposed to see it if it's going <laughs> to hide no, it? I have no idea. All right, <laughs> okay, so we're going to type in star, star, star. All right. I-X-F-K. <laughs> well, I suppose I can put that back Feel up free now. to jump in for some... Uh, 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 there we go. Now we got it. Racketeering. Wow, we got a whole, we got a whole crew here. Uh -huh. Look at that. Yep. Let's let, let's give it a sec for the audience to join in because I'm sure the audience has something to do with this. Yep, they do. We we are we, we are just start this one though. Uh, if you if you want to get a tutorial round in on this one, yeah, sorry man. Would have told you earlier, but it sounded like you were busy. Yeah. I didn't know, I didn't know you guys were knock down the whole microphone. You're sitting. Oh uh, no. By the way, if I sound a little deeper than usual, I'm sick. Yeah, stay far away from me. I catch everything. Yeah. Stop looking doorknobs. I, I can't help it. Don't judge, him. Don't judge his kinks. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. Your answers will be paired off in a no holds barred. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like it. Oh yeah, no, I love this game. As we whittle down to our championship winner, this is And the votes happen in real time, so you can switch your votes back and forth. It's it's fun. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Best prop to bring to an expensive photo shoot for a dog. You gotta think about it. These photo shoots can be very expensive. You've gotta get your money's worth. 
Type in the best, most winningest answer you can think of and hit send. If your answer wins the entire bracket, you'll be rolling in moolah. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room code. Jingo4754 drops a thousand bits and says, My bit donating virginity. Lanny, I've seen your Final Fantasy XIV streams. While I'm sad we're not on the same server, I wish you the best of luck in the lands of Eorzea. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Thank you kindly. That's awfully nice. If you can so now this is the betting part. This is where the racketeering okay. comes in. You can try to play the game. Game audio low? Uh, oh, yeah, probably is. Yeah, it's, it's probably quiet compared to what it's Time's running out. Yeah. Hearthstone gets a little noisy. Anything on that computer does, really. Yeah. Time's up at the prediction table. Let's dive into our first bracket. Let's see what we got. This could get ugly. Use your device to vote on which you think deserves to win. But don't forget, <laughs> if you can change your vote. I like smaller dogs. <laughs> As do I, obviously, to anybody who's ever... Uh, <laughs> A blow-up dog? Do they make those? Oh, yeah. They oh, I'm, oh, I'm yeah, sure they do. they do. Why would you know of that? Of course you'd know them. why I know that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not happy to know it, but I know it. I don't condone gambling, but if you bet on this one, it paid off for you. Good work, Aki. Next up. Hmm. I'd say a long bone, but I bring that everywhere. <laughs> I am on the edge of my seat. <laughs> what is this? Is it a name of a person I'm missing? Argyle Slitterbuff? It's, <laughs> it's what my dog was wearing the last time I was on this stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> But I'm not allowed it's basically to a. Is it a type of material or is it the design? That's it's argyle. Uh, it's the design. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ben, I love whenever you bring your wiener in here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Omega Conference. Only one can come out on top. <laughs> <laughs> well, shoot that one in the foot. <laughs> What about a dog-sized hot man? <laughs> <laughs> I spy dropping 3950 bits saying this has officially become a daddy stream. Nice job rocking those glasses, Scott. Thank you, appreciate it. They're kind of a new edition. Which one did you think was gonna win here? Actual real dog poop. Me too! Oh, it was gonna always be man size dog. Yeah, always, naturally. Ah, uh, yes! Of course. Okay, whoever put lipstick, you're a bad person. <laughs> it's for the other sexier dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just running out the clock now. Yeah, it's always, yeah. I, I'd be surprised if another sexier dog doesn't just take this. Clear winner there. What an upset. No one saw the this one boat. coming. There, I said it. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. All right. Hey, you got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. Predict the one you think is going to win. You know, I think I just realized one of the other reasons my voice is pretty deep. I just spent a couple of days in Colorado, and let me tell you. <laughs> also, we the air's uh, really thin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really <laughs> thin air. Also, the we recorded for nine right. hours yesterday for some just reason. Jump back to our bracket for round two. Two answers battle tested with tough first round matchups. Oh man, Argyle uh -huh. taking it. Oh, but is it? Uh, I don't know. It's a close one. Oh, they're slapping it. Oh, man. Slapping <laughs> it. Oh, man. Uh, can it be shifted? Can a blow up dog take this? Uh, blow up dog can take a lot of things. <laughs> that win was so big, but not an Argyle sweater over. vest, as it turns out. Nope. Apparently not. Turns out they're allergic. Colorado sounds bad, dude. Winners. Colorado's the best. One 
more match to determine our finals. <laughs> a clear front runner. Another sexier dog is just such a good answer. <laughs> it really yeah. is. I, I feel like that's a parody of something, and I can't remember what. This one's looking over. Dog photo shoots. Dog photo scores. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, I finally get it. I get money. <laughs> There's cash if you predicted this one. And now the definitive matchup. What is the best prop to bring to an expensive photo shoot for a dog? An Argyle sweater vest possibly beat another sexier dog? Nope. I don't think nope. it can. Nothing could beat another sexier dog. Except another sexier dog in an Argyle sweater <laughs> vest. Oh my God. Dog section. We have our first winner. Good work, Ben. <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised. Yeah. Let's see those scores. Yeah, I, I would have felt like a winner either way with that last one, because it's what my dog wears versus <laughs> my answer. Wow, freaking RB got like every or every single one right. It's time I, for the I blind like the bracket. All you'll be given is oh, the thanks. category. Thanks for the pay. Thanks for the pay, you asshole. Describe. <laughs> and as long as you Go can, you know, taste the, the condescension dripping off of my yeah, statement. Yeah, I always see the okay, real good. bracket title <laughs> after you answer. Describe it in your Time's running out. Oh, Jesus. Let's see what this bracket My is really like about. On that. Emoji that most deserves its own spin off movie. Hog Diver, thanks for the 500 bits. Time to get in those predictions. Predictions are in. It's go time. <laughs> Votes are incoming. A real tug of war. This one's looking over. Wasn't even close. Yeah, not really. Nope. Moving on to our next the problem is, after the first like couple of rounds, it's like you kind of know what's going to win. Yeah. Really yeah, I think this game's kind of boomer bust. Oh, dang it. The struggle is real. You can press again. No. Oh, 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 audience only get one vote? Yeah. This one seems like it's Will it make sense if there's a big, like, your vote, our votes would barely matter if we were all playing. That was the really audience great. votes, however. Yeah. The two beers emoji. Why don't we see what's going on on the other side of the bracket. So help me get through the emoji. This is a big one. <laughs> I, s I watched that movie. I, I was on a plane, and, and I was like, okay, it's game. on. Why not? Did you also watch Bright? No. Okay. You did a Twitter poll. Out the clock now. I did a Twitter poll. If I should watch Bright. And did they all say no? I, 
Ran Actually, I had to go one. check, but I just haven't. <laughs> I, was I, didn't bother wa I didn't bother paying attention to my poll. What is this, a democracy? I'm pretty sure I was in Colorado doing things you do in Colorado. <laughs> it's time to uh, like including watching posting. Bright. <laughs> <laughs> or at least posting polls about it that you have no interest in the outcome. <laughs> I'm just going to watch it anyway. So again. <laughs> I it would be this close. Oh, come on. Complete garbage? Absolutely. Come on. Cool. Come out on top. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Suck it came Complete close. Complete garbage. <laughs> Good job, Yam. Wait, I didn't do a poll. I just asked people if I should watch it. Oh. I didn't do a poll. No, I didn't do a poll. Also, apparently, so Max Landis wrote the script for Bright, but apparently, that whole script went through two rewrites by the really? time. Yeah. Are in. <clears throat> like, you can find the original Bright script online, two. and it's very different. I imagine. Two Titans squaring off. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stay. Did I do a pull? I love that this is going to bother him for the whole rest of the night. Great. That's great. Uh, My spy seems to think he did. Oh, that win was so big, you could hear it in the next state over. So I'm guessing, like, most Jackbox games are three rounds to this? Question mark. Just one I haven't played through a full one of this. We played oh. for the first one. I'm like, okay, we get it. Yeah, we. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> These answers exchanged some harsh words at the press conference. Damn it! This I one seems wrong. like it's over before it's done. That kind of domination is illegal in some states. Uh, okay. Wow. What, Utah? That's not very And now we finally decide which emoji most oh, that's definitely sort of deserves its own spin-off movie. Holding with my heart. Me too. I would have no regrets. Except for my exuberance. We're just running out the clock now. Winner! What is it the what is it sound like the music's trying to be a cover of uh, owner of a lonely heart? Because it's an 80s theme. Yeah. Let's check out that scoreboard. Good job, Boggy. Doggy. I'm still not in last. <laughs> and now the bracket you've heard so much about. Triple blind. The triple blind what? bracket. This I've bracket heard so much about change them. every single round. Here's oh. your starting. Oh, That's interesting. Yeah, no, this one's I like good. that. I like that. Name any I like this one. Or card game. Who knows what crazy twists and turns this bracket will take? Time's running out. Let's yeah, longer timers might have been better. Game that would most benefit from a British soccer announcer doing play-by-play. -play. <laughs> Time to get in those predictions. Oh, you those Mexican soccer announcers, man. All oh, cash yeah, has doubled this round, so make these choices count. running out Ooh. 
Come on, Tot. You got this. You can pick one. You got it. Time Maybe. At the prediction I don't know. Table. Up first. <laughs> it's really going back and forth. Trivial pursuit, huh? Ah. Wow. This one's looking over. And he answers it's the question correctly. Victory. Oh, I did do a poll. And yeah. Apparently 52% of my uh, followers think I should watch Bright. 52% of your uh, well, next up followers hate you. Folks, I've been oh, waiting so for this matchup like my entire home. career. Pretty good. Taka and I had a long talk about it last night. I thought you were supposed to make up a name. No. I said name a card or board game. This one seems like it's over before it's done. Uh, technically, you could. Yeah. That doesn't mean it's not allowed. Yeah. No oh, it happens. And Daddy's awake. Money, if you guessed it. Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Eastern Conference. These answers exchanged some harsh words at the press conference. <laughs> What in the hell? An upset in the making. This one's looking over. Ah, Duel we Masters win. takes it. Daddy yeah, du likes. Duel Masters. Duel Masters. Yeah, Duel Masters. Better than incest. Good. Go ahead and put that on the yep. tagline. <laughs> Whoever owns Duel Masters. Yep, proven by audience poll. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. My dad's not going to play Duel Masters with me. Well, this one's running away. I am on the edge of my seat. This is kind of hilarious. I... Just running out the so the automatic one is going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! versus Duel Masters next turn. That's dumb as hell. Dominating win. I was joking, Hazard. Time for a title change. He's got the second bench for that. Should play. Into a Jerry I agree. Movie. Get oh man. In now. Should have been incest. <laughs> oh. Oh man! Don't wake Daddy's gonna like nail this one. <laughs> oh yeah. Huh? Don't wake daddy, daddy. <laughs> in theaters this summer. I, just like I see the I see like the kid walking down the hallway. Time's running out. Oh. What fucks up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, prediction table time is up. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. What the hell is a Jerry Bruckheimer? Both of these answers have seen adversity before. Trivial Pursuit. I mean, I guess by name could maybe work. <laughs> the, the Trivial Pursuit. The Pursuit of Trivia. <laughs> Their this Pursuit was Trivia. Over. Look, I needed to catch that duck, okay? So Knowledge large. was the real treasure. <laughs> by any means necessary. The Trivia was the journey the whole time. Ah. <laughs> the real treasure was the factoids we learned along the way. <laughs> Don't waste that. This could be the answer to beat, but let's check out the competition. Who would play Yugi in a uh, Only one film? can come out on top. Well, see, the kind of the weird thing about that is, especially with like, he's, he's a kid, right? And you'd want a you'd want a kid to play. Yeah, but yeah, but you'd need somebody to play the Pharaoh too. Yeah. Ooh, what if we got? Um, like oh, who's who's time. the kid from Stranger Things? The kid that was also in it. Oh shit! Oh, wow. uh, Wolf Finn, Finn Wolfhart. Yeah, yeah. Finn, Finn Wolfhart. And then for the Pharaoh, you get Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> One last they switch. totally look like they could be age-shifted versions of each other. Oh my god, his name really is Finn Wolfhard. I hope your answer is still yeah. makes nope. sense. Best board game and to play at a funeral. Don't wake daddy! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Send this body to the shadow realm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's that's pretty good. This one's looking over. Oh my god. <laughs> this was a big win. That's perfect. <laughs> good work, his house. That was a good one. Very good, very good indeed. Strong, Welcome strong all the, the way through. Score. Hey, nice. Good work, Good his job. ass. Well did. Thank you, I will stay at rank 11. <laughs> I am just above Xenoverse 2, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number Hunter dropping a thousand bits asking, do you guys plan on streaming the Fighters uh, open beta? Yes. Yeah. Yep. I yeah. <laughs> do that. Right, so not. Do we want to do that internet comment one? Because that one sounded a lot Dude, it's, better it's pretty, than this. It's pretty fun. You have to like understand what's going on, but it's pretty cool. Oh, I'm I'm good. Oh, can by you, the way, set that up. Did you notice sure. that we got some Arxis love earlier? Oh, did we? Yeah, we did. Uh, you, uh, I was just making a bunch elaborate? of. Elaborate. Oh well, I was gonna. I was about to. I was waiting. Um, <laughs> So earlier I made a post about basically just talking about fighters and why people are excited about it because mm -hmm. a lot of people have been wondering, hey, what's the big deal with fighters? I don't understand why what the what the hype is. And I'm like, guys, imagine if you're a Dragon Ball fan and a fighting game fan. I think I know Budokai, it's hard to imagine. Right? <laughs> I'm a Budokai 3 fan. I I love that game. I think it's the best Dragon Ball game. But I you would don't... not play it if it were not for the fact that it was a Dragon Ball game. Absolutely not. I'd rather play Tobol. Um, and so at the end of the day, uh, I want a good yeah. Dragon Ball game and a good fighting game. And yes, in fact, it allows for that. This, 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 is, this is an actually good fighting game made by the king of fighters right now. Uh, king of fighters. Yeah. By Geese. Yeah. Um, so I'm super excited and I, 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 I basically said that, but in tweet form and Arxis was like, he's not wrong. <laughs> so Are I'm the... jumping in on this one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sorry. And so over on the team four star account, I, uh, I tweeted at them that gif of, uh, Dr. Jero stabbing Yamcha through the chest with the fighters logo going through him. <laughs> <laughs> and Capcom over Yamcha's eyes and Arxis over Jero's face. Nice. Yeah, I'll kick us back over to Cam while we wait for Kieran to make his way back. What does this have me off? Oh, come on. Don't be dumb. Oh, apparently Arxis also tweeted about our uh, Fighter Z video for DB. Oh, yeah, they did. I didn't see that. Oh, yeah. 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 It, was, it was awesome. Yeah, they've been super cool. Um, the one thing... I <laughs> it's, it's, it seems like if you, if you love their game enough, they love you. Weird. <laughs> man, yeah. But turns out if you make a good game, people will love it. Weird. <laughs> also weird, yeah. What a strange age we live in where <laughs> people like things that are good. Latte? Yeah. Latte. I think it tried to spell leet and messed up. All right, let's show the internet. Leet! Pop that back up and let some... Uh... Oh, and oh, people Hello, already. Nap. Hello, Logarin. Hello, Hello NG. Got it. Mikachu. Mikachu. I like it. I like it. All right. A magical girl. I'm going to let some audience join in before I pop this cherry. I like the idea of me, magical girl, transforming into Daddy Neko. I want to I get that animated. Three, two, one. Everyone, let's go. Eight players. Wow, so this is what a party feels like. Very cool. <laughs> A There's land party, right? Ah, so ah, feel free to join the audience and vote along. All right, prepare for liftoff. Yeah. I like this guy. It's a meme. I like the one where it's Mario playing the keyboard. Greetings, I'm Todd. You know, it's Would a you meme, I got Mario. This computer at a yard sale. Fuck off. That's three hundred dollars. <laughs> Here's a quick but skippable tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So in real. each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead okay. and answer it. 
Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist, and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's okay. it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Let's start things Don't off. Don't judge me! <laughs> crowdfunding set. Okay, you're getting a prompt on your device. Don't overthink your response. Just follow your gut. No, I don't have autocorrect. <laughs> Super Karata says, this is Ben's computer because there was a delete your X's out of photo on button. <laughs> ah. I like the little animation for the people still typing. Mm -hmm. uh, eh. Another player's comment has been sent to your device. Twist their words in the funniest way possible. Yeah, this is one of those real, like, sometimes it's real rough. Sometimes you get that perfect thing, but sometimes it's real rough. God, yeah, this really sucks for this prompt. <laughs> Fuck you, game. <laughs> Of truth. Did you get one in? Yeah, but I had a typo. What? <laughs> so there <wow>. we go. <laughs> 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 I think that's supposed to be dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we both have an X chromosome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not the Nigerians. <laughs> I think you should put the title on there first and then see the comment. Yeah, I agree. Who looks the most ridiculous here? Place your vote now.
sexual harassers. Okay, here are the verdicts. Hey audience, what do you think? Here's who twisted your words. They get some points. And you, the victim, get some pity points. The audience vote carried this one. <laughs> nice. Huh. Here's the order of who I think is cool from top to bottom. Oh, That's subjective. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Let's go to a uh, social media site. Oh, th yeah, this one's good. Your second prompt is being sent to your device. Please answer it. Worldwide Wimpy, I might be on bottom right now, but I'll be on top soon enough. We got uh, 500 bits here from Kami Hentai asking who is best bone daddy, Ains from Overlord or Elias from Megas Bride? Worst. Oh, Elias. Game of Thrones. There's no. There's nothing for you to spoil. <laughs> Not only are we ahead of the books, but the new season isn't out yet. Ah, poorly timed game. Spoiler: It does not manage to satisfactorily wrap up all possible plot threads. I think that's inevitable at this point. <laughs> I, I'm imagining an ending to this, and it is nowhere near. It, it's it's gonna be nowhere near Breaking Bad's finale. Is heart racing right now? <laughs> Always run away from. Wow. That's a lot of spaces for a hashtag. Yeah, that is that is not a good hashtag though. Retweets on some of these. <laughs> Here are your candidates. Now place your votes. <coughs> there were some good ones this round. and dropping 500 bits saying, holy fucking shit, just realized I haven't seen y'all all year. Also, Scott should wear his glasses more often. Now we just need some fakes for Nick. Uh, spoiler warning about Scott's glasses. <laughs> oh, man, Angie. Yeah. It was the hashtag not guilty that sold it. Yeah. 
good. <laughs> Audience carrying that pussy ju juice, though. Yeah, you look <laughs> like a good. fool. I mean, Here we go. <laughs> that was good. Usually, I have little patience for uh, okay, for ones that go for does. audacity <laughs> or shock value like that, but that was real good. Yeah, it was a close <laughs> runner-up. Let's switch things up and go to uh, video site. <laughs> <laughs> Check out this new prompt. Or don't. I'm not your dad. Stretch. I don't know. I'm also really <laughs> glad that we turned up the. Let's uh, see how this pans. Wait out. time. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> I should really put the title first. That's. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Hey, you don't lead with the punchline. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> wow. That's good. And bother. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's supposed to be a bad comment for the video. <laughs> <laughs> that one's a thinker. <laughs>
let's see how everybody voted. Jeez. Damn. Oh, wow. Okay, I did not feel confident in that one, but I bet y'all liked it. <laughs> no, it no, went no, there. Yeah, that was great. Awkward. Best burn. <laughs> nice. It's time for the scoreboard. I usually don't rely on Trump. That's the joke. But <laughs> what was your prompt? Um, how do you feel? Uh, no, what are your feelings about gold? Ah, uh, I mean, photo sharing. No, it works. Yeah. The points are worth double this round, so anything can happen. All right, here's your last prompt. You know what to do. Interesting. It's just a choose one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's the last round. Go for the nuclear option if you have to. It all comes down to this. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like that's curious. God damn it. <laughs> okay, go ahead and cast those ballots. So it was apparently something based on like what we chose on that multiple choice one. What was your option? Uh, and wait. Here are the results. Uh, oh, soccer. Yeah, kid soccer game. Yeah. That, yeah. That's about right. Yep. <laughs> I voted on it. <laughs> yeah. Like the fact that it landed on on Nick in particular. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. got egg all over your face. Like that would have been a great combination no matter who it was. But <laughs> I'll take the pity points. <laughs> Buddy, it all comes down to this. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Oh, man. That, hey, wow. hey, your pity points carried me. Yeah. <laughs>
Man, look at me. I'm actually. Good job, Kieran. Yay. Way to go, J Dog. Wow, you really did something there. You did. Yeah, I did. Oh, you didn't survive <laughs> the internet, though. Thank you all for joining us on this <laughs> Welcome Back Wednesday. Woo. We'll be back on tomorrow with some Metal Gear Solid 3. That's right, it begins. It does. It oh, begins. Man. So thank you all for joining us. Do we have any last minute bit drops to call out there, Ben? Uh, we do have uh, Hand of Oron just now with 500 bits saying welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much, Hand of Oron. Thanks, Hand of Oron. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Catch you later. Better Hope folks. you all had a happy new year. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>